Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Garlips, and I look inside the big box in front of you. And welcome to my stream. Yes, um, it's me. Hi. Some of you are new. I had a lot of new people in last night because um, I did this little thing called GDQ. Big for me. And um, yeah, got a f quite a few followers as a result. So if you're a new person, hello. Hi, hi, hi. If you're an old person, hey, guess what? I love you too. You've been here a long time. Thank you. So uh, whether you're old or new, there should be something for everybody today. Um, <laughs> having said that, um, well, I posted a post on Saturday. Now, some of you may be aware of what the date was on Saturday. Yes, the date Saturday was April the 1st. So I'm just going to scootle on over to my, my other thing here. Right, why does that not show what's on my screen? Give me a second here. This is very annoying. It should be showing me my desktop. Um, but it's not showing the screen properly. So give me a second here. This is this is my desktop wallpaper. I think now it won't let you actually just display what's on the screen. Ah, all I had to do was go in, wait, was to go into properties? Okay, it's there now. So weird. Anyway, we fixed it. Don't worry. <laughs> um, this is what I posted on April the 1st, on Saturday. You'll see here, Twitch 14, uh, week 14 at Twitch Gollops. Wait, what? I'll be running Wacky Races Mad Motors on Awfully Silly with Mr. Matt Internet. Oh, wait, look at the date. It's April the 1st today. You almost had me. If I'm at GDQ, then I better go touch some grass, eh? <laughs> yeah, right. Pigs will fly. Pigs will fly. Um, and this was the schedule. I post a schedule every week, and this is the schedule that I posted. GDQ followed by Lawn Mowing Simulator all week. Lawn Mowing Simulator. There is one thing that you have to know about the Gollips, okay? Whenever I am joking, I am deadly, deadly serious. This is not a joke of any kind. We are going to play Lawn Mowing Simulator today, and the rest of this week, and the rest of next week, maybe. <laughs> um, let me do a little bit of explaining. Um, basically, I, I came across this game recently. There was someone on YouTube who was doing uh, the Platinum Challenge for this game. Now, the Platinum Challenge for this game involves... <laughs> somewhere in the region of 60 to 100 hours of mowing grass, which does not sound exciting at all in the least to anybody. But trust me, trust me, um, I like getting platinum trophies. So, and I like hard platinum trophies or time-consuming platinum trophies because they're, to me, they're worth more than any kind of easy game platinum that you can get. Like, uh, what, what's that one called? My name is Mayo or Hi, I'm Mayo or something. Or, you know, make me a sandwich or all of these other crap PS, uh, PS4, PS5 games that just kind of, essentially they serve as free platinum machines. You, you pay your two, three pounds, whatever, and then you get, a, you get a free platinum trophy after about half an hour to an hour of gameplay. No, not this one. This one takes time and effort. So um, I'm, we're just going to get right into it. So if I pull up the game here, um, we begin. So, this is Lawn Mowing Simulator. When I make an April Fool joke, uh, when I make an April Fool's joke, I follow through. I don't, I don't make any joke that I wouldn't be 100% comfortable actually doing. Okay, and that's, that's the secret. That's, that's the Gollip's secret sauce that, that makes everything around here, uh, well, makes me the greatest stream of all time. Oh, I've got some DLC. Thanks so much. Right, career mode. Hang on, this is way too loud for me. It looks pretty loud for you guys too. I'm going to turn it down. Hang on, can I? That music sounds like something. What is that? Um, can I change the sound, please? It's very loud. Very loud. Okay, that's a bit better. Jesus Christ, the music's just going way off. 
Calm down, son. Jesus Christ. The guy on the guitar is like, I'm going for it. This is my one chance. I'm creating music for a game about lawnmowers. I'm going to fucking rip on the guitar. Um, okay. Can we confirm that? Perfect. Right, so this is a mess of menus that I've got to try and make sense of. Right, the way that this works, the plan, if we just take a quick look at the trophy list, which should hopefully now be on my gamer tag. There it is, Lawn Mowing Simulator. So we've got the DLC, don't worry, I've bought the DLC. Um, you know, you were thinking, Garlip, so you're gonna are you gonna half part this? You fucking bet I am balls deep one hundred percent dedicated to complete this and its DLC. Um there's the Platamo trophy. Um so there are a couple of incidental things like buying mowers, but you know, purchasing vehicles, blah 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 blah. Um most of these will be, like, done along the way. Um, see, so purchase your first American-made mower. Why are these hidden? Part exchange of vehicle. You know, these are all things that during the course of your story mode... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, over the course of your um, uh, career, you will unlock kind of just as you go. There are things that will happen. Things that you will do. Things that you will fulfill. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Complete a contract. What else have we got here? Lawn and order. Striping contracts. Let me tell you about striping contracts later. Litter contracts. Right, so this is the first biggie. This is complete 100 contracts. Now, every contract takes about 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the contract. Um, there are litter picking contracts, which are much quicker. There are just a couple of minutes. But there is another trophy that we're going to need that will involve riding our lawnmower for 100 miles. So, we can take litter contracts by all means, but like, um, there is no real benefit to avoiding the 20 to 30 minute contracts because I need to drive 100 miles on my fucking lawnmower. So that's another trophy we'll get to. So that's what that's the first big one. Then we have um These are all fairly simple ones. Right, here we go. You need to use an American made mower to complete a contract on the 4th of July. Now apparently I've been reliably informed for the first year of the career mode um the 4th of July falls on a Sunday. Which means you need to do it in your second year of contract mode, or co of career mode, uh, when the 4th of July will be on a Monday, and you can achieve this trophy. So, we are also locked into the career mode for a year of career mode time. That's that's good. That's great. Excellent. Good news. Um, finish a 10 career contract within the recommended completion time. Oh, I think that, that will just kind of naturally happen. Um, stripe ratings. So stripe contracts, I said I would tell you about those later, didn't I? They just involve putting stripes in a lawn. So going up one way, then down the other, up one way, then down the other. So you create a, a nice pattern on the lawn. Um, complete career contract without earning a final penalty. Hopefully I should get that, I mean, like on my first one. But, you know, I'm sure it will happen. Um, company HQs. That all kind of happens throughout the uh, game. Uh, this one, where you have to downscale to a smaller company HQ. You need to plan for that. If you always buy like one up from the one you're on, when you get to the end, you won't be able to downgrade. So you do need to be careful and plan around this. Um, these are all kind of like general things. Right, here it is, Centurion. Drive a total of 100 miles in career mode. This is gonna take some fucking time. Oh boy. <laughs> then what else have we got here? Yeah, that's probably going to happen fairly quickly. Um, pick up 250 objects and ground check. That that will that will happen over the course of time. Um, these are titles for our company, I think. Like, yeah, yeah. Complete all amateur challenges. So challenge mode is another thing entirely. 
That's separate from career mode. Once we've done all our career mode trophies, then we'll go to challenge mode. Challenge mode gets hard at the end, but we can do it. We got we we got this. We got this. Complete all expert challenges. That's the doozy in the challenge section. Then, of course, we've also got some other trophies here uh, for the DLC. I'm probably just going to clear these up on my way. Um, try and do... I don't know if I can do DLC contracts during ordinary career mode. If they'll count, and if they do, I can kind of, like, just uh, grind these out at the same time. Um, same with Dino Safari as well. It just looks like there are certain valuables you need to find... Um, what's this? Right, okay. <laughs> the Raptor Paddock. Nice. Um, and then these are just fine valuables. A Night Muller. Okay, alright, we'll bear that in mind. Anyway, so that's the entire trophy list. Gloria. Is it Gloria by Laura Branigan? Gloria, Gloria. Gloria. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Fuck's sake. Um, so, I've unlocked some challenges already, apparently. Um, but we want career mode. So, we're going to start our first career mode. And we are going to play with tutorials. Because I've, I've only seen this game be played. I've not seen, like, any, like, help or tricks or help or tips. So, right. What's the uh, company name going to be, do we reckon? Um, how, how long can we go on the uh, business name? Oh, not very far. I was going to do Garlic Ain't No Grass. <laughs> Um, how about we do fuck your lawn? That sounds like a very grown up and ordinary name for a lawn company. Lawn go lawn company. Fuck your lawn. Yeah, I like the. I like that it hasn't spat that back out at me. Um, they're swearing in this, sir. You're not allowed to use that name. It's forbidden. Right, fuck your lawn. Okay, excellent. Right, we need a company logo. Let's do this. Right. Um, wow, so many to choose from. Right, well, we need the saw blade, obviously, because the saw blade is going to fuck. Wait. I, all I can do is pick the logo. I can't edit it or move it around. Wow, then we're going to have to go with the saw blade, I guess. I'm kind of disappointed at the lack of uh, customization options there. Right, I would like to edit my appearance. This is uh, Garlips. Wow, it knows my name. Love it. Right. Which one looks like me? Um, I think this lady. Yeah, she, she looks the most like me. I'm going to go with her. Oh, I can change my hat. Apologies, by the way. I've got a fucking horrible cold at the moment as well. It's got to be a purple hat. It's just... It's the law. Um, logo placement. Yeah. Wait. Front and back. Front only. Back only. No logo. Um, we'll go front and back. Right, so primary color is, of course, purple. And then... Oh, wow. Yep, secondary color is going to be blue. Or maybe we'll go blue and purple. Yeah, I think blue and purple is going to work out nicer, actually. I think this one. And then we're gonna we're probably gonna match the hat. Yeah, that looks good. All right. We are ready to begin. We're going into business with Fuck Your Lawn. Um, fuck Your Lawn. 
for all your garden needs. Yeah, it's done. Oh, right, okay. Um, am I happy? I'm ecstatic. Right, test drive, career mode. Now you have a company of your own, you will need your first vehicle to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below and take it for a test drive. Okay. No piles of grass. Wait, this vehicle is equipped with a collector type deck. That means as you cut with it, the grass clippings are sucked up into the vehicle's hopper. No piles of grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine or your hopper is full. Okay. So we definitely want a collector one. Side discharge. Oh yeah, no, I don't like the idea of that. Mulcher. Okay. I'm not sure which one I want to... I guess we'll go with this one for now. Alright, let's take you for a drive, shall we? What the fuck am I doing with my life? Welcome to the test drive area. Here you can familiarize yourself with a particular vehicle in conditions similar to a real contract. Approach the vehicle to get on it. Press L to move and R to move around. Alright. So, this is the game. Right, let's get on our lawnmower, shall we? Right, what am I going to do? Hold square to start the vehicle's engine. Change the vehicle's throttle setting. Okay. Right, that's already very loud. Okay, that looks a bit more tolerable to you guys. I'm actually, I'm still going to take it down a little bit because you just you don't need it that loud. Right. Okay. Change the cut height. Right. So. Change the cut height. Use square to engage the blades. Okay. Why am I overloading the It's so easy to overload your your lawnmower. Can I um can I change my viewpoint? Yes I can. Oh god. It controls so poorly. So I can kind of keep my trigger there. By holding R3 while stationary, you can engage Pro View. Oh, right. Okay, it shows me where I've yet to cut. Interesting. Okay. That's useful.
Okay. So it's just gonna be this for a thousand hours now. Yeah? Um, okay. Guess I'm alright with that. Do I need to do any more test driving or can I can I finish the test drive now? Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get off the vehicle. Okay. Use R1 to sprint. Oh, that's useful. So where did it go? Oh, it's still over there. Okay. Right. I don't have any money right now. Jesus Christ, this is going to be expensive. Right, how the fuck do I... Right. They're going to make me cut this whole shit now. I thought I was just on a test drive. I don't want to waste time cutting this grass. Alright, we're going to take the blades off. And we're going to drive away. How do I end the test drive? End the test. End the test drive. Yeah, this is this is not a contract. This is this is a test drive. Right. Okay, we're gonna have to buy this, I guess. Fucking expensive. Shit, now it's on my tag. While the mower is great for open areas of grass, string trimmers are perfect for lawn edges and cutting around obstacles. Contracts will require you to have a mower and a string trimmer to complete them, so you need to purchase a string trimmer now. Okay. We've got a knight trimmer. We've got a uh, an ego. Strimmer, we've got a Toro Strimmer. So, battery capacity. That's a fuel tank. That's got a very strong battery compared to the other one. I think because this one seems to be the most expensive, it must be the best one. <coughs> Fuck. Oh my god. So I've got some strepsils and shit here for like flu and cold shit. I'm gonna have to pop a strepsil. I am coming down with a fucking horrible, horrendous cold. Thank God it's not fucking COVID. Oh my God. Oh. Anyway, sorry everybody. Look, I'm trying. I'm here for you today, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm ill, and I'm trying my best, okay? Can someone just please give me a lawnmower for free? I don't want to have to pay. Fuck. Um, okay. 
So I haven't got a lot of money, but I'm going to go for this one, I think. I don't need a test drive. Oh, right, we're, we're into career mode. Here we go. Fuck your lawn. So, this is a, a one out of five. How do I move around? I guess I've got to take this one first. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We have a cutting height of between 5 and 6 centimeters. We have a 99% completion. Um, right, Gallops is on the case. Um, with my only lawnmower and my only strimmer. Funny that. Um, 26 minutes completion time. Alright, let's do it. All right, let's do this. Here it is. Some silly old bastards uh, back garden. Front garden even. Sorry, my bad. My bad. I've already failed. I've already failed the contract. Right, let's do the ground check. So I guess we're looking for stuff on the ground that needs to be picked up. Does that look like something? No. Oh, there's one. There's another one. They seem quite big. But I didn't see them at first glance. Where's our third item? Done. Okay. That's so far so good. Right, can I start with the strimmer? I feel like doing the edges first is the pro strat. Right, so how do I use this? I see. Like, just do the tree line. Uh-oh. Something like this. So, something like this. Just take the edge out.
How am I not cutting that? Oh, I've got to angle it down. All right. Fuck. I thought it looked like I wasn't doing anything. I must say, this is very therapeutic. Oh, this kind of works. Like a, a circular motion. So battery life on it appears to be great. Which is what I surmised. I'm so paranoid. I'm doing a pretty good job though. I think I've just done the whole fucking lap of the garden. Right, was there an interior bit? There wasn't an interior bit. Uh oh. Shit.
It's kind of hypnotizing. Okay, right. One more time. Did I do this properly? Yeah. Okay, it's one more time. Alright, start the engine. Roll. Careful now. Square to engage the blades. See how now I don't have to go anywhere near the edge with the lawnmower? Oh, this is fun! Oh, there's a tree I missed. Shit. <coughs> My line could be better. Oh my god, I've missed a, I've, I've missed a couple of uh, streamer bits. Great. I think overall, though, I'm doing an alright job overall. Not bad for, like, my first go. Oh no, I've, yeah, I've done that bed. I haven't done the other trees. That's the problem. Also, I can see a bit of grass here I haven't done. There we go. Oh my god, it's such a mess. There we go. I think I've done that bit now. Oh my god, I can just see grass everywhere that I haven't done properly. No one told me it would be this stressful. No, I don't, I, I don't think I've cut out. Never mind, I can't even finish that joke. I don't think I'm cut out for this. Oh fuck. Right, okay. Oh yeah, no, a more overhead angle is actually more useful. Maybe it's better to start with the big one and then do the streaming. I just can't tell. I'm sure these are the tricks of the trade that we're going to learn along the way. No. 
it's also not been cut properly. Yikes. Time's marching on. Cornering on this machine is very good. I like the cornering. It handles well. 8 out of 10. Right, to save coming out here again and again, I'm just going to do this bit now. Fucked up the end there. enough. Oh god. Well, the plus side is that's the first time I've actually done that. For it to tell me. It's got to have been the first time, so there's <laughs> silver lining. Now see, the reason why I thought this game would be fun for me is because I don't know if any of you have played a game called Bully. In the UK it was released as Canis Canum Edit, because uh, some newspapers took umbrage with the name Bully. Um, but then was released later on the Xbox 360 as Bully Scholarship Edition, so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, in Bully, there's a job. You can get a job cutting grass. And it was one of my favourite things to do. Uh, there's just something about it that was very relaxing, calming, uh, you know, just... The act of cutting the grass was uh, satisfying. And I was hoping that it had transferred to this game. And yes, it has. It's incredibly satisfying to cut grass. Anyway, we're getting there, aren't we? We are getting there. There are bits I'm going to have to clean up at the end. Right, I'm going to clear this thing up so I never have to drive out here again. It reaches a point where, you know, you're doing a whole lap of the garden just for a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of grass. At that point, you should just clear it, I reckon.
Turning in tight circles, though, is hard. There we go. Oh my god, I could just see grass everywhere that I've failed to cut. Uh, the idea is hopefully that I will get better. As I become more experienced. We are getting up there in percentages now. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Oh, come on. I was just doing a turn. We did it. Right, what was the time limit? I don't think I did a good job, but um fuck it. It's just <laughs> One in the bag. I thought I'd have to go finish up with the uh, strimmer. I guess not. Makes sense to just do those now, right? I'll take it. Job well done. This was a big day for Fuck Your Lawn. Right, so we got find. Um, vehicle maintenance. Are you kidding me? All right, well, you know, it is what it is. Looks good. There's our first contract. And we drove a mile. <laughs> 
yeah, so one contract, one mile, 100 contracts, 100 miles, roughly. I'm sure there are bigger contracts, though. Vehicle garage. This is the vehicle garage. Here you can fix damaged vehicles, use statistics, purchase attachments, part, exchange vehicles, or purchase new ones. Okay, right. Well, I don't think we're in the market for a new mower just yet. Yeah, let's look in the shop, shall we? Oh, wow, look at that, baby. Oh, boy. Wow. Look at these motherfuckers. They're fucking big. Look at that bastard. Big red bastard. Well, the big red bastard will be mine. At some point. Right. Ooh, slightly harder job. Let's do it. Right, Gollops is on the case. Let's do this. I'm so good at my job. <laughs> right, ground check. Yep, yeah, ground check. Oh, there's one. There's one. There it is. Nice. That was a fast ground check. Right. I guess we're going to do Strimmer first. I mean, that does kind of work for me as a strategy. I actually want to go from this side. Because that whole circular motion thing was working really nicely. That thing, that really works. I'm going to go for no penalties on this job. <laughs> See how well I do. really good at this game I've decided this is my this is my white whale this is my this is my Moriarty okay what does he do well I say that he cuts grass and that he's really really fucking good at it Colin Gollops and his company fuck your lawn I cut this? No. It's still cutting as I go, so... Oh, 
Uh oh. Why do I keep doing that? Fucking did it again. I wonder if it's possible to lose career mode by just incurring so many fines that you go into debt. Worrying thought, very sobering. I swear to God, I've been staring at grass so long, <laughs> and it's only been like five minutes. Oh my God, it's only wow, five minutes. This is taking more time than the last one. Oh, this looks good. Right, I think I've done a lap. Right, so now we just need to do the inside circles. going the wrong direction. I prefer to do the circles anti-clockwise. Cut this, right? Yeah, okay, good. That one's done, that one's done. This one, I mean... Are the plants even really in danger? I'll do it just to make sure. Give myself a bit of an inside light. Yeah, it's working. Right. Is that all the ins- No, we've got more. God knows what the time limit is for this.
Okay. Round and round we go. This is slightly maddening. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, if you will grow your flowers right next to your grass, I mean, try to keep them separate at the very least. Okay, I think that's everything. Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. Seal Team 10 Extraction. Right. Hold square. Press right. Go down. Change the cutting height. Gauge blades, off we go. I feel like I'm a bit more experienced on this one already. I know a bit more what to expect. This one's a bit of a fiddly. Wee. I just missed a bit. <laughs> kind of want to keep the the line of the grass in line with like your left or your right wheel. It seems. I mean, I, since I'm speaking from a place of experience, this is my second job, but. It's a bit of leeway with these jobs as well. 99% is a lot, but it's not as much as you think it is. Did I just hear a fucking cock? Cock a doodling. I think I did. So immersive. Welcome to hour 15 of uh, Garnet's Cunning Grass.
Oh, what? Right, okay. Didn't realise that could happen. I must say the grass is very pretty. The way they've done the effects and everything is very cool. I think maybe I like this. It's probably not the most exciting stream and I'm probably not going to stream it like solidly like I was planning to. But I could definitely see myself doing this in my spare time to get that trophy. Hey, Lamon. Yeah, this is just weird. Um, welcome. I'm cutting some grass. Um, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty fucking good at it. I don't want to brag. It's bad enough I have to mow IRL. This game is not doing it for me. Um, yeah, I think I I was planning to like stream it solidly. I'm not going to do that. I'll come up with a new plan. But at least, you know, I delivered one day of this nonsense, like I promised on my schedule. Um, and I'm certainly going to play in my spare time, because it's incredibly therapeutic to play it. It feels very satisfying to cut the grass. I'm not going to lie. Sure! <laughs> Not IRL though, no, no, it's the worst job in the world. Well, it's not the worst job, but it, it sucks in, in real life, absolutely. Like, I find in my personal experience that mowers always break, like, literally at the first sign of even just a blade of glass that's maybe pointed the wrong way, the mower just instantly breaks down. I've, I've probably gone through about t 10 or 12 mowers in my life because I always accidentally let the garden overgrow. And then, by the time I throw the mower at it, the mower just, like, instantly dies. Right. Okay, we've done one half of the garden. This is very exciting. What a development. Probably going to have to empty my lawnmower in a minute. Well, I can't tell. Does it go grey when it fills up, or white? I think it's going grey. Yeah. Which means, once it's fully grey in the in the bottom right, I will know that I need to empty the grass.
Look at the control, though. The handling. Ah, oh, I'm a pro. I'm so good at my job. It looks like, genuinely, like there are individual blades of grass. Which is just... Insane. <laughs> yeah, just pave over the entire thing. I agree. Well, I mean, like, maybe for some, like, small gardens, paving over is, is basically the way to go, but a garden this size, paved? Mm. Well, unless you went for, like, um, you know, one of those, um... Like, what are those Japanese gardens called? Zen garden. What if you went for a Zen garden with, like, uh, pebbles and stuff? Yeah, that could work. At this size. Oh, for me, plants, I, I cannot keep a plant alive to save my life, honestly. They all die. They made fake plants for people like me. Except I don't really even, like, Mrs. Gollops is the one who'll go, Oh, let's get some flowers, they will look really nice here. I just, flowers do not enter my brain, ever. I can look at them and go, oh, those are nice, I guess, but I wouldn't look in an empty space and go, but we need some plants there. Plants, plants there would be the trick. I'm just like, we could put another poster or a bookcase. Um, why, why would we need plants there? Plants belong outside. Um, just put it where it needs light, direct, uh, shade and make sure you get the yeah I just suck at even that trust me I've tried either underwater or overwater any plant that's given to me basically has been given a death sentence hey four um, ever since little shop of horrors I've hated plants well to be fair <laughs> that one is definitely an outlier most of them don't sing most of them don't uh, eat people but I understand, you know, you just, one bad egg, and suddenly the whole goddamn ecosystem looks like it's out to get you. Very scary. Zoom. Right, so I can't remember what the time limit is for this job. I didn't even look at it. I just took it on. In my own hubris. I'm pretty sure it was a 99% cut, right? <coughs> I'm definitely coming down with a cold, which is great. I'm so glad I got last night done before the cold really took full effect. The GDQ list is coming out today. But actual summer games done quick. I submitted. I very, very much doubt that I will get picked. But, um... Well, I'm glad I submitted, because I wouldn't have been at that GDQ show last night if I had submitted. Because that's where Conception saw my... my application and decided to pick the game for Awfully Silly. So it just goes to show. Firing your shot is worth it, even if you don't think you're going to get it, because, you know, something else might come along. A different kind of opportunity. Someone might notice you while you're going for the other thing and provide you with something else instead, so always shoot your shot. I also think officially that is probably the biggest audience I've ever been in front of on stream. And it looks like it, the, the icon in the bottom right doesn't go grey, it goes white. So, actually, we've still got quite a lot of space in our mower. You need some Mexican antibiotics for an otherworldly experience. Sign me the fuck up, friend. Sign me the fuck up. If you can get them to me, you know, without customs or, you know, Her Majesty Secret Service, um, having a little sniff themselves, um, I'm all for it. Yeah, why not? 
<laughs> Mexican antibiotics. Yeah. Wee. Right, I think I'm going to start working outwards from this, this circle now. Like this. I'm just going to carry on around. Get some of these extra bits on the way. We're getting close. Uh, yeah, I need to I need to convene with him about that. But um, I think first, I just need to play it casually. And um, I was talking with um, with Ilamon about this a minute ago. Um, although I've got this whole week decked out as a a lawn mowing experience, um, I am going to go for the platinum in this game. But this is definitely something that I can do offline, and maybe we could do one more stream when I'm doing the challenges, when I'm about to get the Platinum, that could be quite fun, as like kind of a one-off stream. So the rest of this week, I'm probably not gonna be playing this, I'm gonna be playing something else, uh, which leaves a wide open space for Bloodborne, doesn't it? A wide, wide open space for Bloodborne. So um, I think that's what's gonna happen. Oh no, we're going for 99.5 or something. You've been correct. Yeah, didn't you say your your sister took the game back or something? You were borrowing it, weren't you? That's unfortunate. What what have I missed? What have I missed? Just little bits, I think. Little bits here and there. What? I damaged the ground. Yeah, right, whatever. I think I'm gonna need the streamer to finish this. Get off the fucking machine. Right, okay. Grab that. Alright. We need... Hey, we did it! Oh, thank God. Right, okay, that was so close. Right. I don't know if you're supposed to do this at the end of every job, or... Oh, 
Oh, start the engine. Boom. We're done. Yeah, that took 2p of fuel. Whatever. <laughs> well, we did it. I need some water because I'm dying over here. Oh, boy. All right, show me the damage. I cut a lot of plants. Not too bad, actually. <laughs> I cut a lot of plants. <clears throat> okay. Wow, there's an official Discord. Oh, I got a rank up. Nice one. Oh, wow, we unlocked a lot of jobs. Some of these will be DLC jobs. Right, so. We can't upgrade HQ. We don't have enough money. Um... Wow, these are expensive. So like I said, there's actually a trophy for downgrading HQ. So I want to buy this. I want to want this HQ or whatever. And then before I get Windsor, I will buy Moderna. And then I will move to Windsor after Moderna. Because uh, that's the only way that you can downgrade your HQ. Otherwise, you're fucked. You can't get the trophy. Um, right, we got lots of jobs here. Some of them are DLC jobs. I think they all count. You can get loans here, by the way. Wow. Should I apply for a loan? Oh, I need to be newcomer rank three. And I don't have that rank yet. Okay. Should I get in debt? <laughs> Should, should, should I get in debt, guys? Give me some give me some uh, financial advice here on stream. Um, can I buy, like, a different lawnmower yet, or should I wait? I think I should wait. They're all quite expensive, anyway. We need to do a few more jobs, clearly. Right, so we've got DLC ones. This one is DLC as well. Why are there only DLC jobs? What if I didn't have the DLC? I wouldn't. Well, I think there's probably a trophy for taking on some debt at some point, maybe. Um, that's not a lot of money at all. But it's a contract. Wait, why can't I do the contract? Right, there we go. Alright, let's go do this one. This one's one of the DLC ones. So I need to do the DLC ones anyway. Wait, this is fucking huge. Are you joking? Oh, it's litter. It's litter. Oh, thank Christ. Right, okay. So we just got to find shit on the grass. Um, oh, there are scary dinosaur sounds. So we just need to find shit on the ground. Terrifying. One more. Oh. Run all the way out there. Nothing there. Punished. Where's the last piece of litter? Is that it? Aha! We 
did it. I picked up all the litter. I'm so good at my job. Cool. Well, that's 30, 35 quid. It's 35 quid. Wait. We bumped it up somehow. Whoa, look at that time bonus. It's just like me sprinting around the gardens picking up trash. <laughs> I've done it. When I get my setup done, I think I'll try my hand at the speedruns as well, Gollips. You are more than welcome, friend. Um, in fact, you know, um, if uh, I don't want to preempt things, okay, but I'm involved with a marathon that runs in October, right? Three-way Bloodborne race could happen. I, I, could, I could probably get that in. I don't choose who gets picked, but, I, you know, I could probably get a three-way Bloodborne race into that event. So, no pressure, but maybe, maybe. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Shit, now I've got to put my money where my mouth is and get this shit on the road. Uh, welcome to Fuck Your Lawn, by the way. Fuck Your Lawn is my is my company, my my personal invested company. Uh, we fuck your lawn better than anybody else. Um, I picked up all the litter. Hooray. Give me money. Right. That's one of the DLC trophies. That's fine. Oh, nice. Okay. The trophies are flying thick, thick and fast right now. Right, let's do another mission. Why am I only getting DLC... Uh, missions? That's, that's the question. Anyway, I'm newcomer rank 3. I could technically take out a loan at this point. For $2,500. Uh, pounds even. Oh wow, this game's in pounds. Fantastic. I don't think I saw a trophy for taking out a loan, though. I could be wrong. But I don't think I saw one. <laughs> yes! More buckles. Um, I don't think I saw a trophy for loans, but I I'll take a loan anyway. Right. Right, so I took a loan for 3,500. No, I took a 2,500 loan. Great. All right. Let's buy something then. Otherwise, it will have been worthless to do that. Um, <coughs> so, we have... No available vehicle base. What the fuck does that mean? Right. So I need actual vehicle base, don't I? Can I upgrade my HQ? What, what will that do? It'll allow for one extra bay. Right, let's do that then. Fucking hell, this is expensive shit. Um, we need a big job. Why are the DLC jobs my only jobs? That seems a bit bizarre, doesn't it? What jobs would I be getting if I didn't have the DLC? Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm going to have to go for a harder one. I need to make some money. Gollops is on the case. Requires mulcher or collector. I've got a collector. That's fine. 99.9% um, cut. All right, off we go. It starts. Right. 
So first things first, we want to grab this. Wait, oh no, let's do the ground check. How do I get over the fucking wall? Oh, jeez. Right, okay. This place is huge. Vast, in fact. Is that... That's a reference. <laughs> that's a Jurassic Park reference. Oh, I feel fucking shitty, though. It's fucking cold, man. Right. One more, one more. Where are you? is it? Oh god, right, okay, done. That's stressful. Do I have to cut this little bit in here as well? How much of this do I have to cut? I'm gonna go lawnmower first. Oh god, this one's gonna take forever. Bloodborne tomorrow, I think. Which is interesting, because, you know, until the weekend, I didn't even think I'd be playing this game for a long time. Now, I'm looking down the barrel of a multi-day casual playthrough. Followed by learning the speedrun. Interesting.
my only my only hope is that because this level is so vast that 99.9% .9 of the grass will still leave a lot of grass or more than you would think uh, unaccounted for it means there is like a slightly larger margin of error Maybe that just sounds like the words of a desperate man who's taken on far too much grass cutting. You be the judge. I'm doing a bang up job of this lawn now. Like, seriously. going quite well. I'm actually going to empty the grass after I've done this first bit. trying to not fuck up the lawn too much with my wheels. Got told off by that last time. Yeah, like, I just, I don't get it. This is, like, a very small part of the park. And it's already taken me, like, ten minutes. <laughs> Welcome in, Beep. Uh, yeah, Leon would... It would already be over if Leon was the one driving this. And Baby Eagle would be an actual Baby Eagle that fell out of a nest and Leon would have saved it, returned it to its mother as well. Beautiful story, Resident Evil 4. Beautiful, beautiful story about a, about a real Baby Eagle and some, some grass cuttings. But you're most welcome. I'm not going to be streaming this the rest of this week like I thought. I'm actually... Tomorrow I'm going to start my Bloodborne casual playthrough. But uh, today at least, we've got to honour the April Fool's Day meme that I put out. So I've played BB before for about, like, I would say four to six hours. Um, back in 2014. I played, I, I beat Father Gascoigne, 
I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm reversed. Let me empty my... Fuck off. This thing is so, like, precise. I want to empty my grass, please. Thanks. Boom. Alright, let's hop off real quick. And fix stuff. Right. Um, so I, I got a bit past Father Gascoigne. Um, into the next area, which was like, if I remember rightly, like a big church or something. And it looked a bit more muddy than the, the first area, which was, I guess, Yarnum. Uh, but I remember next to nothing about it. I'm going to fall to all the old traps. Um, everything past there is going to get me immediately. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Mainly because uh, my good friend Axton has, has thrown down the gauntlet and said, Speed runs? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll speed run you if, you, uh, if, if we do Bloodborne. So... Now I need to play it casually before I submit myself to the speedrunning process. Welcome in, Devon Lass. How are you? I'm cutting the grass right now, so I'm fantastic. I think this is going to be a play-in-my-own-time kind of game. Not that you're all riveted by the, uh, the amazing job I'm doing here with the grass. But I think I'll, I'll play it in my own time. Um, and I am going to get the Platinum, which takes like 100 hours. So, more for me, I guess. That is a lot of grass. It is. I feel much like Icarus. I've blown too close to the sun here and bitten off more than I can chew with my shitty little lawnmower that's not very strong. But I am getting the job done. I am getting the job done. Slowly but surely. This has got a completion time of around 32 minutes, I believe. Oops. I got stuck. There we go. I think I'm going to finish this job. And then I think I'm going to switch game. Because, like, I don't think I can even get one stream out of this. It's it's kind of boring <laughs> to watch. To play, it's genuinely kind of, like, relaxing um, and therapeutic. I can't explain it. And I think this is probably the same kind of thing with people who may have played Power Wash Simulator or any other of those simulator kind of games. They feel immensely sa uh, satisfying to play. But to watch, there's not like a huge amount of uh, content here for you all to dig into, if you know what I mean. Um, hello. So we'll, we'll try and cut this, and then we'll probably jump into Resident Evil 7 or something. Uh, Resident Evil 4.
I'm currently in the middle of my second playthrough. I, uh, I just got to the island, pretty much. Uh, so we could finish up the island today. And then I could um, start working on an assisted playthrough, getting all of the trophies that you can't really get on the other difficulties that assisted is best for. I think I'm actually going to fail this challenge, though. Because there's just too much grass here. I'm not cutting it at a fast enough rate. Yes! Yes, 4 of 0, I'm aware of the trick. Um, I literally just used it um, maybe an hour before I started streaming. Um, I'm at the start of the island, so I just beat Salazar, and I had a gold egg in my inventory, so I thought, I'm going to see if everyone is like telling porkies about this, or if it's really true. And it's really true. Although you do need to be careful, because at the start of the Salazar fight, he's kind of immortal for a, like a few seconds. Like, um, you could throw the egg and it won't do any damage or, like, shoot it. Because I shot him with the Magnum, um, right at the start of the battle. And it seemed to do, like, nothing for his health. I took, I put, like, three or four bullets in him and nothing happened. So I think you actually have to wait, like, a good five, ten seconds before you can throw the egg. But yeah, what I did was I shot the Magnum once and that kind of got him on the floor and made his, uh, his head come out. Then I threw the egg at him and he was gone. He was done. So... He was out of there. He was. Looks like Team Sprocket's blasting off again. See, it's funny that I said Sprocket because he's got like a robot that looks like him. Sprocket's are like... Never mind, it's fine. It wasn't that funny. Yeah, see, I'm not sure how I could be doing this this quicker. Unless I had a different vehicle. Yeah, I mean, what else could I be doing, honestly? Nothing.
Why is there a massive statue in the yard? Because this is one of the DLCs uh, that's set in a kind of like a dinosaur park. I guess. And so there is a, a massive T-Rex. For some reason, like, it's all it will give me is DLC missions. Which is a bit weird, because I would have expected there would be, like, the ordinary regular missions as well. But it seems like all I can pick from at the moment is DLC missions. Which is silly and dumb and wrong. Anyway, I think I've done this one. I'm going to have to run around with the... Uh with the strimmer afterwards. I'm going to have to empty my car soon as well. Yeah, it's flashing red. You all know what that means. I think we're going to head back to the, uh, the drop-off point for the grass and do some cutting along the way. Right. Back we go. Fuck, I'm stuck. Yeah, this mission is just too big for my current equipment. My current equipment just can't cut it. Unintended. I need to engage boost power. That's what I need. Engage nitrous. Right about now. Oh god, that one's moving. This is so stressful. Well, in some ways it's stressful. I mean, it's stressful to try and meet the, uh, the brief and the time limit. But the actual cutting of the grass itself is incredibly satisfying. I cannot even begin to tell you just how satisfying it is.
coming up on that goat. Gonna have to go around this in a minute. Why does that keep happening? Maybe it should just not hold the trigger down as much? Is it as simple as that? Yeah, apparently. Just don't hold the trigger all the way down. I just, I don't think this is possible. <coughs> they want 99.9%. I would have to cut, I, I'm not even at 50% and I'm well over half the time. So I think I'm going to call it. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pay back my loan. Hang on, how do I do that? What? Well, why can't I pay the loan back? <laughs> um. Oh, because I have I've taken two thousand five hundred. I've got to pay three thousand five hundred back. Wait, no, the original loan was. Wow, I can't even afford to pay the loan back. And that's how they get you. It's just like real life. Wow. Okay, so I will be playing this game, just not on stream. It's not a stream game. I've, that's clear. Give me a second here. Um, I will just sort out the uh, the stream name and stuff. <laughs> 